Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where once again I'm in a hotel room and also for some reason I'm in the same hotel I was in last time however I can't uh, apparently the TVs are different and I cannot connect my uh, Dolby Atmos Triton headset to this TV which means I'm listening to it very very softly through the TV speakers instead of actual headphones. So that's really fun. I really love doing that and it really makes me question why I have a headset that only works if there's an optical cable. <laughs> there's a USB for some reason and I can't seem, I, li I literally can't use it unless my headset, this big old fancy headset, unless there's an optical cable. <laughs> option and this tv unlike the one four rooms down that i was in last time does not have an optical cable anyway i complain about that sometimes <laughs> i really should just bring out my old turtle beach headset but it's actually kind of painful on my head but that one only requires just an audio like a headset cable which most tvs have And USB if you want. But yeah, I should just bring that one out. Anyway, I'm still leveling up. Trying to find... Also, my coworker is literally right next door. Like, she's right next to me, so I don't want to be too loud. Again. I can't remember how... What exactly you wanted. Magistrate Xanthi told me that you've been having trouble with your farm. Crop failure. It's as if Ares herself salted the earth. How are the crops failing? There's a dead Blight. pig back there. plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. Um... <laughs> that's a really convenient excuse. I'll find out what's happening. Yeah. Oh. Thank Zeus, my Ilotes, Tefta and Maron. They work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. Oh, I'll, um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll chat with them and get their perspective on it. Because trying to, um, force any religion on anybody is a pretty garbage thing to do. I haven't seen other farms in the area with blighted crops. What could be causing the difference? The grain grew in short and dry. Then the animals started to grow ill. Obvious signs of displeasing Persephone or her mother. Maron claims the animals have been poisoned. But I have no enemies to speak. Oh. Okay, then they're probably been poisoned. Oh, maybe somebody has actually salted the earth out of spite? What makes you blame your Ilotes for the blight? Have they tampered with the plants and animals? They do not worship as you and I do. I thank Vimitia for all she gives us at the end of each day. But they just reap the bounty of her hard work. So, it's divine intervention. What else dictates our fates? Ugh, death that won't stop babbling about the soil. Thinks I overwork oh. my farm. Idiot woman. As if this farm hasn't been in my family for generations. That would explain it. She hasn't rotated her crops. Probably been in the family for generations. They probably have been farming it like idiots. <laughs> I'll go talk with your Ilotes and see what they know. A godless blight. Um, over here. So it's obviously not gods. It's like poor management, which is often the problem of anything. I heard that the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing crop shortage? I didn't say that. You know more than you're saying. My stomach aches and it's hard to concentrate. It's a shame that there is no mint around to chew. Where would I get mint? The master keeps dried herbs up at the house. Okay, you want you all you want is mint. You can't get mint for yourself because the master keeps all the medicine. I can pick and dry the herbs, but I'm not allowed any for myself. Yeah, not fun. I'll go find some mint for you. 
Uh, slavery is no good. Like, I don't know. It's like, oh, I guess it's better than some things, but it's like, I don't know. I bet you the animals have for sure been poisoned, though. That pig looks disgusting. I can't hear anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's all you. Okay, that's all you wanted. You just wanted some mint. <laughs> Although mint is good for stomach aches, so for stomach hurts. Like, why would you be stingy with your medicine? Like, they're your 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 workers or your slaves or servants or whatever are less likely to call off work and be lazy. Air quotes. If you actually treat them for their, what they've got, you know? They're not being lazy, they're not trying to get a day off. I mean, maybe they are if you overwork them. Maybe don't overwork them and you don't have to worry about that. And it's all just systematic. Okay, hang on, let's see, come on. I, I don't want to untame the animal, I want to chat. Here you go, the herbs you needed. Fresh is better for my stomach, but since the blight, dried is all we have left. The back patch of land is riddled with blight like I've only seen once before. My old master lost his whole farm to it. I'll never forget this smell. The back of the farm? I'll take a look. Um... And it's dumb that people won't listen to people whose actual job it is to work the fields. Like, the actual fields. And they're like, I'm the management, I know what's best. It's like, oh, <laughs> I beg to differ. You're not the one actually who's like spent their whole life doing this. You just watch. It's a wonder anything grows in this field with all this mess crushing the plants. What is Tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful um... to make leather? It can't be good for the soil. There's a bunch of tanning hides right here. Are they... What are you, do they expect things to grow if they're like... Putting stuff on top of the plants? I don't understand. Maybe I'm supposed to look at these. I can't hear anything, so... Oh, what? It was right here? The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to make sure of ending this blight. Oh, thank you for laying out all this uh, hay. However, I'm gonna need you guys to move. So they're spraying, like, what? What is this woman doing? people well um I hope you guys yeah run away how about you oops I know what I wanted to do yeah run away Could you guys move? You should really move. Oh, here we go. Now it gives me triangles. Did I do it? Everything up around here. <laughs> now I'm beginning to understand Tefta's anger. 
This is weird. This is a weird quest. What the heck? Why are all these jobs for these women, like, weird? Like, I don't know. I felt really weird about the, like, last one we did. Where it was, like... I don't know. Like, I wasn't trying to take advantage of that girl. Like, but it kind of felt like I was. Like, I don't know. And then I'm kind of glad she refused in the end. I just didn't... I was kind of... It was kind of awkward. Like, the whole thing was just kind of awkward. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to sneak up on you. Mistios. Here. Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you for that. Matter. Well, yeah. I'm, I don't. I, I'm not six. I'm not required at all. Like, what the heck? How can I make clearing the ground easier? The hoe I'm using is falling apart. I have to fix the blade every few Ooh, that sucks. Something more sturdy would make it go faster. It's not like you're shackled to this patch of land. What's preventing you from getting a new hoe? Have you ever been beaten so hard you lose hearing in one of your ears? That's what happened last time I went to market without permission. Oh, of course. I'll look for one. Um, sh I feel like Cassandra should be used to working with slaves, or at least, um, used to seeing them and interacting with them. Like, they have completely different lives. They don't... Oh, there it is. They don't have nearly the same... Cap they can't just go places. Like, they don't. I mean, technically, every person owns their own life, but when somebody else thinks they own your life, they make your life really, really hard. Also, like, this woman is, like, obviously everything is boiling down. All these problems are boiling down to mismanagement. Like, she needs to be removed from owning this farm. And I'd be like, like, I feel like with that girl, nothing changed. Like, she's not going to get her freedom. Like, she's going to be stuck on this island. And, like, the old, and she was kind of spoiled. Like, her mom didn't actually, like, teach her anything. She wasn't the kind of woman that they would raise in Sparta to be, like, independent and stuff like that. You know, because they are, like strong and smart it was like she was just kind of like eh, nah, nah. kind of easy to take advantage of almost and it felt kind of weird um because because she does you know it's one of those things where like you desire like adventure and like romance and like capital r romance and lowercase r romance and if i had been successful with her it would have felt like i was just sleeping with her because she was pretty and kind of empty-headed, or at least she seemed like it. Like, she has a lot of potential. And I would have rather, like, I don't know, maybe if I had slept with her, I could have invited her to the ship. But, like, maybe that's maybe that's the whole thing, is that I failed that. But, like, this, too, it's like, is this actually going to make any difference? Also, my puppy is so cute and blends in with the ground. And super duper, super duper cute. But, like, is this going to make any difference? I'm going to, like, try to convince this woman that she's a poor manager and needs to find somebody else to manage or like convince the magistrate that she needs to have somebody else who's in charge of this area because beating your your slaves over something that's actually your fault it's just reprehensible it's re re reprehensible anyway but it's just it just shows like how weak-minded she is like i don't know like the woman you know like the owner here you go this should make digging easier you're all right for a stranger. Look, the water's tasted like a rusty blade for the past few weeks. Last time I had water like that was when I was downriver from a blacksmith. Thank you. Okay. So we have bad water. Also, I'm pretty sure in Greece they were really only trading white slaves. And that, I don't know if that person... Holy cow! What? the heck? Why is this person missing a limb? Why is the limb? The limb's the wrong color! Oh my gosh! I mean, the slave trade was pretty, like, huge. Pretty big. In Greece. And they had all kinds. But mostly, like, you know, Mediterranean peoples. Maybe Egyptians sometimes. Well, yeah, obviously Egyptians sometimes, but like... Holy cow! More... what? Mold to death journey across the sticks be a more peaceful end than Is this. there blood in the water? Is that what's causing the problem? Debris might be getting stuck in this net. 
Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. Mauled to death? Is he... Is his... Is his... Oh my... What? These don't look like the knife wounds of a man. i bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste. Metal from what armor? What? Why is there a dead body? Why are there multiple dead bodies? This is escalated drastically. Why? This is why when war happens, like bodies of water become like incapable of like, I don't know. It's not just like the blood. It's like, like everything like, i don't know like the nile i don't know how they got away with it in the nile i think that maybe it's because the nile like flooded more frequently but like here like everything is a little bit more like placid i guess why why are there limbs why are there freaking limbs and who is murdering so many people that they're like i don't even know what i was saying before something about like, obviously war makes it so that like um, water sources are often polluted by the dead bodies, but like, I don't know, it's like, this is, this is not war, I think that's my thing, like, this isn't war time, like, also, let me carry this bear body, because I just killed the bear in the water! Maybe if the water was, like, flowing faster, the bodies wouldn't have time to, like, sit and, like, decompose in the water, like, in the same spot, in the water. It's the metal from the free- These guys aren't wearing any armor. They're naked. They're basically naked. Also, there's blood and guts and who knows oh, what else. The smell is going to linger on me. At least the river runs clear. The river now. isn't even running. There's still a goat body here. And there's a freaking dead bear in there. And wh wh why was a fisherman beat to death? Why are there dead Spartans in the water? Why is there a dead, why are the bodies missing limbs and why is there one by the house? What is, I thought maybe she was killing her slaves, but those are dead Spartan warriors in the water. Are they drinking, was the, why are they drinking the bad water? Are they, but why would they be missing limbs if it was just a bad, there's an arm. Freaking covered body? Why? Okay, there's a covered one, but why are they missing limbs? Covered, a covering means that, like, there's, it's like, people know that there are dead bodies, right? Right, some rituals, at least of some sort, are being enacted. But, like, that one's, why are they missing limbs? The diseased crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last Oh of my blood. gosh. Oh, you truly no, are no, God no. sent. No. What was the cause of the rot? This is on you, you idiot! You're so busy looking to the sky that you ignored what was in front. I know it won't help, but I'm going to do it anyway. The are not responsible for cleaning the fields or the river. That's on you. What? You dare? Xanthi said you are an agent of Zeus, but you are a false champion as godless as my Ilotes. Get out from here! The poison in your fields is nothing compared to the poison in your heart. <laughs> If I, if that doesn't actually change anything, I'm gonna be pissed. What was the point? I know some people said that there were like pointless quests in this game and that it was like really aggravating. Up until this point, I haven't felt like I've encountered like a pointless quest per se. Like they all felt like they were fine, you know? I felt like they were resolved within themselves. These, none of these feel resolved. Is every single quest in Sparta gonna be this weird unresolved quest? Like, I've, I knew telling that woman that, like, it was her fault wasn't going to do anything. Because people who are narcissistic and, like, jerks and, like, I don't mind narcissism. What is, like, freaking, um, just, I don't know. What is it? What is the word? Onward. I'm watching, like, so many psychology, like, yeah. like, history of science videos and all this stuff. But, um... It's just frustrating to see people who are so self-absorbed in their own self-righteousness and they're like, they're like, 
absolute conviction in their like correctness and like it's so frustrating because those people don't change no matter what you tell them no matter how many facts you show them nothing changes like it's like unless the, unless i can tell the magistrate to do something nothing's gonna change there those helots are still gonna be treated our helots are still gonna be treated poorly the land is still gonna suffer and why the frick were there dead and mutilated bodies in the river why I don't understand. None of that made any sense. Well, girl, well, girl, I don't get it. I'm afraid to name her because I'm afraid she's going to die because they tend to die fairly quickly. But I really like her. She just likes to lay in the sun. She's fun. I like her. I don't want her to die. Anyway, that was a really frustrating one. The other one with the, with the girl, with the young girl, like, kind of left me feeling a bit awkward and weird. Because I was like, I don't know, this feels weird. Like, I'm taking advantage of her, but also, like, I'm not actually doing anything. Um, like, simultaneously, right? Like, not like, taking advantage and not doing anything, like, useful. But this one was, like, really frustrating. There was, like, actual, like, I mean, repressing a woman is obviously an injustice. But, like, this woman was, like, denying basic human rights. And all because of her gods, you know? And it's like, you can worship the gods, but the gods, if the gods existed, and I don't think they do in this world, per se, they would be very displeased with the way you're treating your people because, you, for one thing, God, gods will only help those who help themselves, is my opinion. And like, it's not just opinion, I think. It's like often a mantra in many religions where it's like, God or gods will help those who help themselves. You can't just sit around waiting for a sign or like even wait for a sign, but you gotta do things, take action. Do something. It's frustrating. It's like Dragon Age when everyone's like, we leave it in the hands of the Maker. Like, A, the Maker pieced out. That's in the actual lore. Like, B, the Maker's not gonna help you unless you help yourself. You can't just say, woo, Maker, take care of it. You can't do that. You can't. You can't just sit around waiting for a miracle. You have to take action and, like, work with what you got and interpret whatever you want as a, as a help or a sign or a miracle, but do something. Woman, if you, you don't do something good, Wonderful. I hate, Magistrate I hate this already. Has spoken highly of you. I'm, a, I'm already frustrated. Very kind of her. So here's the thing, my children have promising future. Oh, this, oh but they no. But they to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? Why? They heard of the eagle bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their fathers. No, no, that's not how teaching works. Also, like, what the frick? Why am I supposed to be the one, like, rep, like, teaching your children? Why don't you do something? You're the mother. Why do I have to go around fixing everybody's... Why are they giving the women these stupid quests? Which make them seem like vapid, incapable, like, just blocks of wood. Like, why? Why do they? Why are? Why are the women, specifically the specifically the women of Sparta, of Sparta of all places? Why are they assigned to give me these lame quests? Like, I'm like looking at the computer in frustration right now. Like I'm talking straight at you guys. I'm just like, Argh. like no, the men don't give me things. Where I gotta go kill eight wolves and blah blah blah, and I gotta go help in the war and blah blah. blah. The women are like, I can't raise my children. It's like you're a Spartan woman. You would be able to like just you could you could chuck your child into the river, and if they didn't behave, you'd leave them on a mountainside. Like that's just how it. It's an odd request, but uh, I've been asked to do. If I'm not getting things. paid for this, I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all one question. Oh, it's <laughs> only. <gasps> Perseus, I know his story well, as if we were cousins, both raised at the base of Mount Oribos. Do not fear. I will hold your children fast with my tail. They're not gonna... Also, reciting it at them once isn't gonna help them remember it. And, like, if they can't impress their tutor, their tutors know that they haven't been studying, and I just... Why, children? Hello, I'm... The Eagle Baron. 
We've heard all this about is gonna you. go poorly. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I mean, this seems like the fancier one. Let us sing with the voice of the goddess about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. She's got a gazillion children. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, Poseidon or Zeus? Oh my gosh, I'm cheating. Zeus. <laughs> It's Zeus. Okay, this is sort of cheating because apparently, and this is why I was confused, I think, Percy Jackson is based off Perseus, but he, um, I'm not saying that name right, um, but his father in the, Perse in the Percy Jackson books is Poseidon, whereas in the actual myth, Perseus, or, yeah, Perseus is the son of Zeus, but Percy Jackson, who is sort of based off Perseus, is the son of Poseidon. Okay, Zeus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danai. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson. But Danai was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked Danai in a bronze room open only to the sky. Ooh! However, mighty Zeus saw the girl of and course he did. in love with her. He transformed a into golden a golden shower, shower and seduced her. No. <laughs> Danai gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it! <laughs> King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and toss them into the wild sea to be drowned. What? How horrid! Poor that, that's actually murder though! Like how come... What? What? I know the exposure thing was supposed to like absolve anybody of killing children, but um... Yeah, the exposure was supposed to like absolve you of murder because it's like, oh if the gods want you to be saved, you'll be saved, you know? But then if you die, then you die, because nature. Okay, Dictys. Dictys, I'm not saying that right. But he's this, he, apparently he's the brother of the king, and he saved them. Perseus and his mother, Danai, were rescued on the island of Seriphus. Yes. And Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Dictys. Lucky them. Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight. And how to be good and just, even though his father was We're doing only a fisherman. A very good I can job. do all those things too. Good for you. <laughs> Except swim or be just. Hush. Now, hush. Victi's brother was the ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. Any boy must make Percy's scum have a quiet. Percy sees beautiful Andromeda. Yeah, I think he sees, cause he, I know for sure he rescues Andromeda. Um... Wait, wait, nope. But Polydectes did apparently try wooing her and asking Danae for her hand in marriage. Okay, so that was first apparently, but I know, at least it's one of the Perseus stories is attributed to him is saving Andromeda, but da da. The cruel king of Seriphus, Dictys' brother, Polydectes, decided he wanted to marry Danai, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Dictys couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. And be annoying. Christos, <laughs> that's your job. I will keep this stinky king from marrying you. The cruel, <laughs> stinky king became <laughs> angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polyvectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said. By killing the a great monster. I knew it! Shh, I knew it too. Gorgon. Yes, yes, fetch me the head of Medusa. 
Polyvectus told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! <laughs> Polyvectus knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinking! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus I'm with winged this. sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield, polished, mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged fall Pegasus. I did not know that. Yes. What? Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda oh, chained on the Ethiopian cliffs. Waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polyvectis relentlessly pursuing the Nai. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. <gasps> when he saw Medusa's head, dun, dun, dun. Polyvectis turned to stone. Wait, what? He doesn't fight Hades. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he... Right, right, right. He kills his grandfather. Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King That's Agrisios. just dumb. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled I just the feel like... People wouldn't. You can't escape your fate. That's exactly the. the that's exactly the, the story. As king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. That's maybe the best. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Clap, clap, clap. I should be a bard. Oh, thank you. Aww. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. Truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Most old Greek plays had the theme of, or a lot of them anyway, had the theme of you can't escape your fate, which is kind of depressing. Because like you, no matter how much, the, the big point is no matter how much you try, you can't escape your fate. Which, okay, that wasn't too bad, that was pretty fun. Um, I, that was cool. I was not looking forward to that one the most because I was like, oh, I don't want to take care of people's children. And like have them be all bratty, but they were good kids. I think the part of the problem is, is like, it's like nowadays, right? Where like, if you don't like take, like I don't know, if you don't tailor a lot of the like education and like take into account the individual needs and like interests of the children, like they're not gonna learn as effectively. If you try to just stick them through a meat grinder or like a, a cookie cutter school, like they're not gonna learn anything. They're just gonna learn by rote or like. They're just gonna spit it back out at you and they're never gonna remember it. Nothing's gonna stick. Or they just won't remember it because they're bored. Like, give them something they're actually interested in. Somehow make the lessons interesting and fun. Because that's the only way, as we just saw, for these things to stick. This is also, this isn't just talking about like fate and like metaphors of fate. It's a giant metaphor for this, for the freaking, especially the like American education system. This game is deep. <laughs> but. Anyway, so the first one was frustrating, but this last one was pretty fun. And to hear the retelling again, and to like read it, sort of, when I was like trying to figure out what order things went in, was really cool. I really enjoyed that, so, that last part. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Look at my little puppy, my little sunshine baby. She's so cute, oh my gosh. I love that she freaking lays down. That's so adorable, what a nice touch. Anyway, thank you all again, and I will see you in the next one.